I consider it a privilege to be called a brother with a capital B because it speaks to me of the need in the world around us for brotherhood with a small b and obviously as a brother I feel that it's part of our mission to further that fraternal community wherever we are, here in school, in our own community, as brothers, but also in the wider society. For me, being a religious brother, first and foremost, it's living in community with a group of men who I'm called to live with, to share my life with. The second thing is the apostolate. Our brothers were founded in 1819 by Jean-Marie de Lamennais and Father Gabriel de Hay. These two Breton priests had the same intuition having seen young children on the streets of Brittany in post-revolution France no longer able to go to school because the revolutionaries had closed all the schools, they decided to gather a group of young men around them who were willing to help them reopen the schools and that was the seed that became our congregation. My ministry as a brother is primarily to work in the school that is in our grounds here. At the moment I'm a school chaplain and part-time RE teacher. Initially through my training as a musician I was a music teacher so that's been one very important aspect of my life as a brother and even though I'm not teaching music at the moment it's something that over the years I've come to realize is central to my ministry as a brother and in particular through liturgy, through school worship and through parish worship. Having Brother James and other religious brothers in the school, I think the difference it makes for me is that it makes the religion a lot more relatable. I think it's really helped me improve myself as like, um, not to say as a person, but like in my religious community as well, because I've started going to church a lot more. Stuff we've been doing in lessons, I've started to understand more when I'm in church. I get distracted less and actually listen more to what's being said. Our mission statement, which is life in all its fullness, isn't just on a letterhead. It's something that we try and live out every day with the pupils. And having the brothers here means that they can see a particular way of living out that, that message and living out gospel values and delivering life in all its fullness. People often ask us about the things that we've had to give up and whether or not we find that difficult in terms of perhaps family life and other things that people in modern society would consider to be normal, having your own bank account, having your own car, having a house. It's something that reminds me of the passage in the Gospel where Jesus says that if you give your life to him, if you follow him, then you will be rewarded a hundredfold with family, friends, anything you could ever ask for or wish for. And in my life that's certainly been the case. I feel that I've had to give up relatively little really to have received so much in return from God. I realise that for young people today it can be very difficult to hear the voice of God in their hearts and to work out what God is calling them to, what life he wants them to live. And so one of the aspects of my own life as a brother is to try and help young adults discover within them their own calling from God. And I've often used an image when talking about this of two pairs of hiking boots where you've been on a journey together and you have the boots lined up side by side and one pair is maybe slightly smaller than the other. And so you have a kind of older brother, younger brother relationship. And that, that's an image that speaks very powerfully to me because I've been in situations in my life where I've had those older brother type figures. And I feel that it's a privilege for us as brothers in religious life to be able to fulfill that role also for the young people that are entrusted to our care and those that we encounter in our daily lives.